All right, first and foremost, I'm going to say all praises be to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Mukakudash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders, a great millstone, and shall one to the sincere elect. Teaching the truth and faith and sincerity from the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Now, quickly, we want to speak on a point, right, you know, that these are uh, Christian pastors and churches don't understand. Because they, they basically try and use the scripture to basically say that, the, 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 the son is the father and the father is the son, right? And, you know, try and say that, you know, the, 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 the um, son was the father and the father brought himself, right, through Gabriel's seed, right, into Mary, came upon the earth and actually that the son, who people ignorant call Jesus Christ, was actually... The heavenly father himself but he just transformed himself right he, he, he somehow he was on the earth and somehow in heaven and they try, try and say you know the scripture says i and my father are one to, to justify that but they don't understand that so i'm gonna read from john 10 and 22 right and and read down on on, on on onwards right to basically explain that point which basically, well, what that basically means is that they are in the same spirit, right? Which through through the spirit, if it be of the Lord, how about as well? I can I can bring our understanding on. This is uh, John John ten twenty four. Then came the Jews, ran about him and said unto him, How long dost thou pay? How long dost thou make us to doubt? If thou be the the Christ and be or if thou be the uh, anointed, tell us. Plainly, he did. How shall I answer them? I told you, and ye believe not. The works that I do in my father's name, they bear witness of me, All right? Because they basically had had they didn't have faith to believe that he he's the only begotten son of the heavenly father, and he was the uh, uh, anointed one to, to come to the twelve tribes of Israel. But he says, but be but ye. Believe not, because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. That's right. Essentially speaking, if you don't follow the spirit of the Lord, it's because the Lord hasn't chosen. And I give them, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. That's right, because you know those who are of the the Lord's elect, right? The Heavenly Father Himself predestinated who, who, who is and, and and who isn't of His elect. So all those who are of His elect are eternally gonna have the truth, all right? And and through our seed, you know, the twelve tribes of Israel that ain't of the elect will come through our seed and and, and all eventually be perfect. But anyway, it says, "My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all." And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. I and my father and I and my father are one. Right? If you go to verse back to verse 28, he says, I it says, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of out of my hand. So he's saying, Look, right? Um those who are who, who are of his elect, right? that they are always you know gonna be you know those who, who are his elect meaning those 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 who have the faith are always gonna have that faith right because the the uh, eternal life starts with, with, with this this truth right those 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 that had doubts or, or those that that didn't uh, believe went apart of those that were in his hand, right? So what? So 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 what? So 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 what is basically being being said here is that look, those who are of the elect can't fall out of this truth because they are of his elect, which the father gave him, and he's gonna express this point. My father, which gave them me, so the heavenly father, right? sorted out who is of the elect and who isn't right 
to, to follow his son. So he's saying, And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of, of, of my hand. Right? So they are in Shai's hand, right? Okay. My father which gave them me. So he's saying, The elect are in my hand, and my father gave the elect unto me. Right? Is So it says, My father which shows there are two different entities, which gave them me, is greater than than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. So he's saying, look, my father gave these men unto me, right, to, 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 to follow me, to follow this word, to follow this truth. And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. Just how that you can't pluck the let out of, how a shy's hand you can't pluck the elect out of the heavenly father's hand right so 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 now it says what i and my father are one so he's saying we are basically in the same spirit we are in agreement right we are in the same agreement because i have been given a certain amount of men which can't be which can't fall off this truth and can't be taken away out of uh, out of of this truth out of his hand but my father which gave them to me right you can't pluck the elect out of his hand too because guess what he sorted out and predestined who would be of his elect so me and my father are in agreement or me and my father are one because we are in agreement right so so that ain't saying that they they are the same entity because guess what he actually says look I and my father are one. Me and a separate entity who is my father are one. So he's saying me and my father are, are in agreement. Because if you go back to verse 28. And I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of mine hand. Because the elect were predestined to be given unto the Lord to follow his word. Right? My father which gave them me is greater than all. So he's again it's a separate entity being established here. And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. That's right, because the, 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 the heavenly father predestined who are of his elect. So if his son and, and him are doing the same thing in terms of those who are of the elect are, are sealed eternally, then guess what? They are one, because they're in, they're in the same agreement on the same men, right? And also to prove why that they are are one right to prove why they are one yeah as well is is is, is through this john 1 and 14 and the word right, hold on one sec now i'm gonna read from verse 14 and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us and, and we beheld his glory the glory as of the only begotten of the father right full of grace and truth because how shy was the first spirit created and, and everything else after that was created by Yahweh Shai, right? So, it says, and the word was made flesh. Yahweh Shai is what? The word of God. He himself embodies, he is actually the Heavenly Father's word and will in flesh. That's how heavy, that's how, that's how deep the heavenly father is he's so deep that his word is a separate entity which is which happens to be the first spirit that he made his son so him and his son are one because guess what his son is his word they are in agreement look he can't disagree with his own word if his word was made flesh so the reason why they're one is because he is the will, word and will of the Heavenly Father that was made flesh. So just how you couldn't pluck the elect out of his hand, you can't pluck the elect out of the Heavenly Father's hand because it was sealed in the spirit and it was spoken, right? It was his word that, that guess what? These certain group of men will be of his elect and these certain group ain't. So they are one because you know they they are in agreement 
they are in they are in the same spirit because guess what he's his son is his word right so, so so when you read that scripture i i and my father are one you have to understand they are in agreement they are in agreement because guess what his, his his word essentially was made flesh right this is john 14 and 10 and uh, and uh, and this will, will uh, prove that he is the word of God. He is truly the word of God. John 14 and 10. Believest thou not that I, I am in the Father and the Father in me? Guess what? He, he, he's in the same spirit. They're both in agreement. Because he, he, is, he is his Father's word. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself. So guess what? He's saying I'm speaking, but the words I'm speaking isn't of, of, of myself. So if the words he's speaking isn't of his, isn't of himself, then whose word is he speaking? But the father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the words. He doeth the works. Let me read it again. Believest thou not that I, I am in the father and the father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself. So he, he he didn't come to do his own will, right? He's doing the will of the heavenly Father. Guess what? He's his word. The word and will of the heavenly Father can't transgress the word and will of the heavenly Father. Okay, guess what? He is the word and will of the heavenly Father. The word and will of the heavenly Father cannot transgress against the word and will of the heavenly Father because the the word and will of the heavenly Father is the word and will of the heavenly Father. You know. They are two different entities, but they are in agreement. They are one, right? Believest thou not, I am, I am in the Father, and the Father dwelleth in me. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, right? Because it's, because guess what? You know, he's his word. He doeth the words, right? And to even further prove that Anytime it says they are one, it isn't talking about the same 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 entity. Hey, guess what? We, the hopeful elect, are one with the heavenly Father and His Son. Does that mean that we are 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 are, 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 are we individually are the heavenly Father? No, it means we are in agreement. Because guess what? His because He is. The heavenly Father, his his son is 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 word and will, and we follow and believe in his word and will. So guess what? We are all in agreement. We are one with the Lord, and we are one with the Son. How yeah. shy? And in case you didn't know, the heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, and the Son's name is Yahweh shy And by those names, is how you're gonna be saved. So. I'm gonna prove to you through the scripture that we are also one with the heavenly father. So that that doesn't mean that we are the heavenly father. No, that means we are in agreement with the heavenly father. Because guess what? We believe in his word and will. So we are one with with the heavenly father. We are one with his son, and he, they are one with us because we believe in their word. We are in agreement. I'm gonna prove it. This is John 17 and 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 four. I have glorified thee on earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had before the world was. I have, have manifested thy name unto the men that I have, I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gave and, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Right? So there was a certain group of men that were given unto the Lord out of the world, meaning their spirits were separated to be, to be that of righteousness. Right? Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Guess what? Because guess what? They have believed on the word of the Heavenly Father. They have kept it. Now they have known all that, that now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast Given me are of thee, for I given unto them the words which thou gavest me, 
So he gave us the words that were given unto him by the Heavenly Father. So guess what? The same word that was given unto him, him being his word, was given unto us. So guess what? If we agree with those same words, guess what? We're one. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me. And they received them. So they received them. Look, if 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 I explain to you, um, if I explain to you a parable, and you understand a parable, you you've essentially what received them, right? Let's go into the word uh, received here, and, and let's see what it means. Lam ba no, right? And it says, right? Right now, it says, let's just see see the um, application here. Yeah, to to take it to take with the hand to lay hold of or any personal thing in order to, to use it. Right, it says here to to take to oneself to lay hold upon to take. Possession of, right? To reach after, to strive to obtain, to receive what is offered, right? So the truth was given unto the elect, right? And they received them because the Lord opened up their understanding to, right? So going going back to that, it says, for I have given unto them. The words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, they have understand them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. So the Lord um, gave words which was given unto him by the Heavenly Father to, to give unto a certain group of men, and they, out of all people groups upon this earth, have, have understood them, because not all are going to understand. And I'm not sure, surety, surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed me, and they have believed that thou didst sent me. I pray for them, I pray, pray not for the world. So, 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 this, this world is, is, is the world of Israel, because cause only, only, only they can understand it. But for them which thou givest me, for they are dying. All mine are dying, and thine are mine. I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I am come to thee. Holy Father, keep through thine own name those that thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. Right? So, that they may be one as as we are. So, they are in, in agreement. So, so, he's saying, Lord, preserve the elect so they may be as one as we are. Because guess what? The, the um, Lord, Yahweh, his son, Yahweh Shai and the elect are all one because they are all in agreement and 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 the, they all believe in the word of the Heavenly Father. Right? So essentially, you know, you know that's why we are the brothers of our of our Lord, man. Right? Because you need to understand, right? The Heavenly Father and the Son is not the same entity. Because the, the Son constantly said, Lord, I ain't come to do my own will. I have been free with this is John 6 and 38. For I came down, for I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which have sent me, that all of them which he have given me sh should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. And that's what's happening before our eyes. Right? The Father and the Son ain't the same entity, and you trying to use the I and the Father I one to uh, 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 one to explain that just shows you don't have understanding. This is Luke twenty two and forty two. 
saying, Father, if thou be willing. I so so so, so, so this is when the Lord was praying in the, in the um um garden of get 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 semi, right? It says, saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. So he was basically saying, Lord, take 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 this hell I'm about to go through from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. So that point in itself, right, of him praying to the father that to, to take this cup from him proves that they ain't the same entity. Because he said, take this cup from me, but you know what? If it's of if it's of your will that I'm chastised, right? Your will is gonna be done, not mine. Right? Because he, you know, they're two separate entities, and and, and the, the heavenly father has more power over him, right? He subject unto the heavenly father, right? This is Proverbs 30 and 5. No, no, Proverbs 30 and uh, 4. Who have ascended up into heaven or descended? Who have gathered the, the, the wind in his fist? Who have bound the walls in a garment? Who have established all the ends of the earth? What is his name or what is his son's name, if thou canst tell? So they are two separate entities, right? His, his father's got his name and he's got his name. Yahweh and how was shy, right? So they are we're one in the same man because they are in agreement, but they ain't they ain't the same uh, uh, person because if there they was explaining, you know, who the uh, Lord prayed to on, on uh, the, the 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 cross, man. Uh, this is a uh, verse Corinthians 11 and 3. But I'll have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Hamashiach is Yahweh. So when the scripture says, I and my father are one, it's saying they are in agreement. And as John, John, John 17 explained, if you are of the elect and you take heed unto the word, we are one with the Heavenly Father and the Son. Right? So, you know, with that, I'm going to say, all praise be to Abba Shimon Shai. Double honors unto the pastors and elders of the great Moonstone. And with that, I'm going to say, Shalom.